Hello, Tuchopini here. So we are tackling question number 17 of the maths paper 1 2021-2022. And the question says, a factory packs fruit jam in cylindrical tilts of radius 5 centimeters and height 15 centimeters. The tin then are packed into rectangular cartons each measuring 60 centimeters long 30 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters high the first question is determine the maximum number of tins that can be packed in one carton okay let's change the screen just a few seconds let's tackle this question so when you're being told that you have the cylinder of radius five centimeters they are counting on it that you're going to forget to use the diameter so we have 10 centimeters as the diameter and we have 15 centimeters as the height then we are being told that these things are packed into boxes so we have our box here And this box is 60 centimeters long, 30 centimeters wide, and 30 centimeters high. When we take this into consideration, it means that we can package six tins in the lengthwise, three tins in the width direction, and two tins in the height direction, meaning that we can package six times 3 times 2 which is 36 tins inside here and that's the maximum number of tins that can be packaged question B asks an empty carton and an empty tin weigh 560 grams and 300 grams respectively the jam packed in one tin weighs 990 grams a pickup which can carry a maximum of 600 kilograms is used to transport the jam determine the maximum number of cartons the pickup can carry okay so we are being told that we have an empty carton the empty carton weighs 560 grams and the empty tin weighs 300 grams the jam itself in one tin is 990 grams so that leads us to say that a tin with jam is going to be equivalent to 1290 grams because it is 300 grams plus 990 grams okay 1290 grams and since we know that each carton has 36 tins we are going to take 1290 grams multiply by 36 tins which will give us a maximum of what 1290 by 36 1290 by 36 gives us 46,440 grams so this is 46,440 grams now the other thing that the person who set the question is counting on is that you will forget to add the weight of the box okay so the weight of the box is 560 grams so we are going to add 560 grams which will give us uh, 0 10 10 47 47 thousand grams so a whole box with 36 tins full of jam weighs 47 thousand grams or 47 kilograms okay now we are being told that the bus sorry the pickup is going to be able to carry a maximum of 600 kilograms 
So we are going to take the 600 kilograms that it's able to carry. Then we divide by the weight of one box, which is 47 kilograms. And let's see what it's going to give us. 600 divided by 47. This is going to give us 12.765. Now we are going to truncate it to 12 boxes okay we are going to truncate it to 12 boxes once we have the 12 boxes now it means that a pickup can carry a maximum of 12 boxes that was actually the second question that was being asked as you can see determine the maximum number of cartons that a pickup can carry let's go to the next question the next question and the last question is a factory delivered a pickup full of cartons of jams to a retailer the factory sells one carton to a retailer at 2880 the retailer then sells each tin at 110 shillings calculate the percentage profit made by the retailer so here it goes so we need to know first of all how much did the retailer spend and that is we have six not sorry we have 12 boxes or 12 cartons each carton costs a hundred and sorry 2880 let's just go back and calculate so we have we have 12 boxes as we had seen here we had 12 boxes for each pickup and then the 12 boxes we are going to multiply by the price of one box which is 2880 when we do that we get 12 multiply by 2880 it's going to be 34560 kilo kenya shillings 34560 kenya shillings okay after that is established the next thing is let's know how much he got when he sold the tins so it's 12 boxes each having 36 tins and each tin is sold at 110 shillings 12 multiply by 36 110 for 7520 7520 now we want to know the profit that he made okay so the profit that he made is you take the 34560 to be equivalent to a hundred percent then we ask what is 47,520. We cross multiply this. It's going to be 47,520. Multiply by 100. Divide by 34,560. This gives us. Multiply by 100 divide by 34560 gives us 137.5 right gives us 137.5% so meaning the overflow from 100% is 37.5% and that's the question that was being asked the percentage profit made by the retailer Okay, that was question number 17. We will continue on from there. Thank you.